Hello everyone! Welcome to my very first Disney Dreamlight Valley news update video. My name is Ali Aid and I hope to make this channel a one-stop shop for all your Dreamlight Valley news, updates, trips, tricks, and more. Today I'm going to jump right into the October 31st Halloween hotfix. While mostly bug fixes, there are a few small additions we will cover today, plus a free gift at the end. This patch rolled out on Halloween day, and these notes are taken directly from the Disney Dreamlight Valley website. Starting with the first update, here is how it begins. Happy Patch Day Valley Villagers! We're so glad that so many of you are enjoying your new valley experience with Scar. Since the release of Scar's Kingdom, we've been listening closely to the feedback you've shared through social media, Discord, and customer care, and are happy to share fixes for quite a few of these notable concerns today. While the patch is now in the process of being released to all players, please make sure you're connected to the internet to receive this. It may take up to two hours to receive it on your device. We recommend that you check back every so often if you do not see it yet available. As with any updates, we urge all cloud save users to ensure your cur current saves are properly backed up to the cloud before switching the platform you're playing on. Please see the detailed list below of what to expect from today's patch. Now I'm uploading this video a little late, it is my very first video, so this update should be on your computer already. If you haven't updated your game, it should be there for you. Now on to our improvements and optimization. There are a bunch of these, I'm going to go through them pretty quickly. There is improved performance and stability on Xbox. They've added a seizure warning during the game's boot sequence. They added a toggle in settings menu to remove in-game flash effects, like the one you just saw behind me. This will impact lighting visual, lightning visual effects that flashes during storms, white flashing effects in the clouds during storms. Storms will appear as regular rain showers and will continue to be monitored. Their flashing effect upon successfully catching a fish. Again, you just saw it behind me again. They have also added a toggle in the settings menu to remove in-game screen shake effects. This will impact screen shake upon successfully catching a fish, screen wobble while waiting during the fishing action, screen shake while completing the mining action, and screen shake while completing the digging action. They want you to note that they will continue to closely monitor community discussions to identify whether additional effects or instances should be added to these toggles. Finally, they have removed the exhaustion effect, something that I kind of liked, so I'm interested to see if I will miss it. And they have improved clarity of Sunlit Plateau story quest objective description involving root beer. That one I am very happy about. I was a little confused about the root beer one, but I have already finished that quest, so I guess it won't affect me at all. Moving on to our second bit, which is bug fixes. Again, I'm going to go through these rather quickly. They have fixed a quest blocker for Mother Gothel's restoring the Sunstone quest, and they acknowledge that the previous fix did not resolve the issue for all players, so they are continuing to closely monitor this fix to see its impact on the community. They have also fixed an issue preventing vi villagers from accepting meals in Chez Remy. They fixed the castle motif on the Disney Castle t-shirt. They fixed an issue that prevented players from picking up some items at the base of palm trees on Dazzle, Dazzle Beach. They fixed the Toy Story themed fancy table to allow objects placed on it to be picked up. They've moved a lamp in Mickey's house to prevent objects from getting stuck behind it. Scar's friendship quest and gifting will now only become available after completing the Sunlit Plateau's story quest. Halloween rewards acquired from Dreamlight Duties can now be properly bought again from Scrooge's Delivery. Pressing B or circle now properly skips dialogue boxes. The trick-or-treat Dreamlight Duty now properly requires gifting candies to characters. Thankfully, I've already completed that one, so I don't have to do that. The webbed tree in the Villain Star Path can now be found under the foliage category in the wardrobe menu. Various online service improvements. Scar's Volcano Stove now requires coal to cook with, which makes it sound like that was an infinite food maker with no coal. I'm kind of jealous I didn't have that item before. Scar's Volcano Stove can now be selected after being placed in the world. The collection menu will now update itself properly after collecting items. 
and the swapped item color of Moana's level 10 friendship item to its intended color scheme. I haven't seen, I haven't gotten Moana's 10, uh, level 10 friendship gift yet, but I'm interested to see what color it was and what color it is now. That is it for this Halloween hotfix, but that is not all I have to cover today. In you may not have seen if you aren't on Twitter, but there was an issue with loading screens. I'm going to put up the first tweet from Disney Dreamlight Valley. There was a loading issue and they have been working on it. And here is the latest update as of filming this video. They have successfully developed a fix for this issue and will be deploying it in phases beginning this morning. The first phase will be a hot fix for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation that has just begun development. There are some following tweets that go into a little bit more detail. They say the next phase will support players on Twit on Switch and will share more details this afternoon. Unfortunately, the issue on Switch will take more time to fix due to the complexities of early access. There is a temporary Switch workaround if your profile is saved in the cloud and you own the game on another platform. You can launch the game on the other pl platform such as Xbox or computer. Install the fix, just update your game. Open the game and cloud save on the Switch, and you will now be unlocked on Switch. But here's where the free gift comes in, which is very exciting. Um, I was out of town for the weekend, so I did not issue or did not deal with this issue, but maybe many of you did. But it doesn't matter whether you dealt with it or not because they are so sorry that this has happened that they are going to give all players a free gift. In this last tweet, they say, we apologize for the inconvenience and we'll have more updates soon, including details on the promised compensation. The compensation was mentioned in a previous tweet that I'm not showing here, but they haven't told us what it is yet, but they did say that it will be for all players. And they'll let us know when they have more details about the Switch, but in the meantime, you can reach out to customer care to help resolve the issue. Alrighty, everyone, that is all I have for you today. Stay tuned and please subscribe uh, for more fixes, more updates, more news coming from this channel very, very soon. I hope to uh, get this channel up and running very quickly. But that's all I have for you guys. Have a great rest of your night. Bye.